Hi, this is David Gawley, and I'd like to take a look at the ex some extensions for Autodesk Revit 2013, specifically for Timber Frame. Uh, you can download this extension from the Autodesk subscription website, just under www.autodesk.com backslash subscription. Um, and when you get into the site, you'll have a wealth of different information, and you can simply go to download your product enhancements. In here you'll see all the various extensions you have available to you. The one we're looking at is Timber Reframing Extensions for 2013. These extensions you actually download as an executable and um, it pops into the download area and you simply run it as administrator. Make sure your Revit isn't running in the background when you're actually installing it and after the installation you won't need a reboot, you'll just simply start your Revit. Um, <clears throat> they'll actually populate in the extensions tab. You can see I've got various ones actually running here at the minute. And we're simply going to look at um, trusses to start with. So I'm going to select the roof. I've got the transparency applied to it. And I'm going to go on into my extensions. Under modeling, you'll see rafter framing and roof trusses. We're going to look at both. I'm simply going to go to roof trusses. Now the type of roof I have, just for demonstrations, very simple truss, um, it's gable ended at this stage and the dialog box will pop up with this. Once the dialog box pops up, you'll see that we've got wall plate detail, ridges, and we've got our roof ends. So we have to have a look at the wall plate detail. I'm going to change the type of family member to a 140 by 50. Um, and we're going to make sure it's generated. For actual ridge truss in here, our truss itself, we've got a wealth of different formats we can actually change it to. We can change it to Fink. Again, we can change the number of panels and it'll update the graphic. We can change it to high, and again, it'll update the graphic. I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to put it on a two panel fan, and I'm going to change the type to 140 by 50. Um, as far as my roof ends, I'm not going to put any roof ends on this. Um, we don't have to be limited to uh, gable ends as well. And here, I'm just going to say gener generate member, no. Once we're done, we simply hit OK, and it'll go and generate the trust members for us. You might get some warning messages in here, just depends on the inaccuracy um, of the actual geometry on the screen. In this case, I'm simply going to accept it and hit OK. So you can see very quickly it's generated this, and this is just a simple one. So let's have a look at the other element of the tool. If we go to extensions, go to modeling, we can do rafter framing in here. I've got a very, very simple porch. So I'm going to have a look at my rafters. Again, I can change my ridge information. And we've got collars we can actually apply throughout. And we've got purlins. So again, we can add a purlin at various locations. We can select the side. They actually add the purlin too. As soon as I hit OK, it'll generate. The wizard will actually generate these members in the background. So again, very quickly, we can generate uh, geometry very, very easily through this Revit extension. It's only available for Autodesk subscription customers. Thanks for listening.